Hello everyone, this is Umran. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to how this swirl effect using Typhlow in 3ds Max. Uh, I recreated Van Gogh Starry Night artwork to have this type of animation, as you can see. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna create the face or the surface that the particle will emit from, and then so the particle are following a path. I will create that path. It can be wherever you want. I'm gonna use some helixes like I did in the video. Maybe a line here. So you need the path to be to have a, a beginning and an end. So you can't use a closed circle, for example. The shape should always has beginning and end. Okay, I'll create the type now. First, I'm going to use a birth operator. And then position object to have the particle emit from, which is this one. I'm going to increase the total amount. So you need the particles to be generated according to the timeline. So you need to have, to have a start and an end in order to have the particle keep following the path. If you have them all spawn at zero, then all of the particles will follow the path and that's it. But we need to keep them coming. Second step is I'm going to send out these particles to a different uh, event. So I'm going to use surface test. You can use uh, send out if you want or time test. So I'm just going to use the surface test. I want the particles to be sampled by vertex and according to the velocity of the surface. So actually you can use wherever here. All works. Second thing is uh, I want the path follow operator to select now the paths that I created. You can have them all as one object or you can have them separate, doesn't matter. So I will connect this to this now. The particles are following the, the paths, but they are too fast. I'm going to add a slow operator and slow them down by 100%. So the particles are now following exactly uh, too close to the path, so I want them to have some variation or some distance from it. This will be achieved by the attraction velocity here. So if I make it 0.2, so you will have some distance. Now uh, I will add the path follow, uh, sorry, the spline path. In order to give thickness create new so now we have the particles are creating the splines okay so in order for this effect to work so you see I just clicked here there's some bug in Typhlow in order to see them so right now we have them all as one thickness so you just want to have some uh, tapering you can control the taper here, have it as a curve at the beginning and then the tapered out. As you can see. Also one more thing, uh, the age of the particle or the spline is uh, set too high so I want them to live for like 20 frames. As you can see. I'm gonna hide this face. So yeah, that's it. So the particles are following, you see, the, here because of uh, the path. So if you make the path, uh, like if you draw it better than this, then you'll have that effect. So you can still control, you can add more swirls.
So it all depends on the path that you are uh, that you that you want. So now uh, the particles are spawning uh, and keeping there, staying there. So I want just to kill them off to not keep uh, staying there. So I will send out those particles by age. So I will add the send out operator timing. I choose by particle age and then have then for example 20 frame with a variation of 10 frames then I add a delete operator so if you want to increase make them stop at 200 and have let's say 5,000 or even more If you want them to be generated from the beginning then just put this as minus for example 20 or minus 50 You can also reverse the animation of the particles by reversing the path. For example, this one, the beginning is here and the end is here. So I'm just going to reverse it, select the path, and just choose reverse. So now the beginning is in the center. Added more so you can have the effect that I created in that artwork. Uh, you can also control the resolution or the density of the splines if you select them, for example. So, okay, sorry, my Max crashed. So, uh, I was saying about the uh, shape. Of the splines, for example, they can control whatever thickness of them. You can control how much uh, sides they have. For example, three. If you want to have lower resolution, or ten. Even you can control the interpolation. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much.